Alright guys, so the first thing you'll need is a notebook of any sort. Now this can be either a composition book, a spiral notebook, or a sketchbook. Now you can buy these at your local art store. So once you guys have your notebook, what you guys are going to do now is you guys are going to open it up and you guys are, you guys are going to use modeling clay to sculpt on top of your book. Now when you guys are doing this, keep in mind that latex shrinks. So you guys are going to have to make your sculpture a bit bigger than the actual size of the notebook itself. But if you guys are using silicone, it really does not matter. Alright, now for the actual sculpture itself. Uh, the, the final sculpture will have the front cover, the spine, and the back cover. Now, these are actually sculpted bit by bit. So, what you guys are going to do is, you guys are going to sculpt the front cover first, and then the back cover, and then the spine itself. So, you guys will end up with three pieces, actually. So, once you're done sculpting, what you guys are going to do now is, you guys are going to use crystal clear spray paint and spray the whole entire thing for two coats and the reason why you're doing this is so that the clay won't stick to the actual plaster itself once you're in the mold making step alright guys so for this step what you guys are going to do is detach the clay sculpture from the actual book that you guys sculpted on now once you, once you guys are done with that make sure you guys put the actual clay sculpture flat on the table and if you guys aren't familiar with mold making make sure to check out my how to make a mask tutorial videos and go to the mold making part now for this step we're basically making the plaster mold of the book itself so as you can see here I've made the clay walls that are made out of water based clay so once you guys are done making your clay walls uh, we're ready to pour in the first layer of the mold which is the detail coat alright so what you guys are going to do next is you guys are going to mix plaster in a bucket and you guys are going to pour it on the sculpture itself now when doing this make sure that the plaster itself is thin enough so that it can capture all the details on the sculpture itself now when you guys are waiting for the plaster itself to dry make sure to cut up a lot of pieces of burlap alright so once you guys have your burlap all cut up what you guys are going to do is dip that burlap into the bucket of plaster and apply it in the sculpture now you guys are going to have one layer of burlap with plaster and one final coat to top it all off so you guys should end up with three layers so the first layer is the detail coat second is the burlap and the third is the final coat so once you guys have your mold all dried up and stuff what you guys are going to do now is pry out the actual mold itself with the clay sculpture in it and also take out the clay walls and it should look something like this so next you guys are going to use a screwdriver or maybe a chisel to take out the clay from the mold so once you guys have taken out the clay from the mold, you guys should end up with something like this. So if there's still clay left on the, on your mold, make sure to use uh, tools to take it out. Alright guys, now for the casting step. If you guys are using latex, all you guys really need is one layer of latex on the mold. Now if you guys are using silicone, you guys will need at least two layers of silicone since silicone is more prone to ripping. Now if you guys aren't familiar with the casting set, again, make sure to check out my how to make a mask tutorial videos. Now once the cast is dry, what you guys are going to do now is gently and slowly take it out from the mold. Now if you guys aren't careful with this, it will rip, especially with silicone. Now if, if done correctly, you guys should end up with something like this. Alright, now for the tricky part. What you guys are going to do now is take your book cover cast and put it back right, with, right in the mold. Now after that, you guys are going to take your notebook and put it right on top of the cast itself. Now, if, if make sure to position your notebooks right, right on top of the cast. Because if you guys don't, the final book itself will be deformed in some way. Now, in this step, you guys are basically 
interlocking the inside cover from the outside cover. So in this step you guys are basically pouring latex or silicone right in the inside cover so that it will meld in with the outside cover. So it will squeeze together to make one whole book. So when you guys are making the inside covers, make sure to leave en enough room for the notebook itself to open and close successfully. So once you guys have successfully interlocked the inside cover and the outside cover together, you guys should have something like this. So here's the inside cover and here's the outside. So it's in one piece now. So it should look something like this. Alright, so we're going to the fun part now. In this step, you guys are basically going to paint your cover. So if you guys are using latex, you guys will be using latex colorants to paint. And if you guys are if you guys use silicone, you guys will be using silicone pigments. So if you guys are using latex, I, re I recommend you guys use an airbrush. Now if you guys are using silicone, I recommend you guys use a sponge of some sort, since a sponge is good for shading and for color blending effects, as you can see here. So also not to mention, this is actually op optional. You guys can also paint the inside if you want. Alright, so once you guys have finished painting the outer cover, what you guys can do now is decorate the pages themselves. Now, here's the interesting part. You guys can do this in multiple ways. Now, the way how I did it is I mixed red food coloring with a tiny bit of blue food coloring to get blood. So uh, you guys can actually use that to soak the pages and paint them as I did here. Or you guys can also use a lighter and burn some of the pages so you guys can give like a old authentic worn out look. So there you have it guys. That's how you make your own evil book. So if you guys have any questions on anything, make sure to comment on this video or you guys can send me a private message and I'll try to answer it ASAP. So there you go. Once you guys have made your evil book, it should look something like this. Or something similar to it. So, be creative. You guys can also try some other things yourself that I haven't tried. So yeah, that's how you make your own evil book. Make sure to subscribe and rate this video a thumbs up. Oh, and comment on it. So, thank you for watching this.